Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my everyday makeup basket for November of 2019. I picked up a decent amount of products this month, and also I was like finishing products and had to bring in new products, so, the, so what I'm trying to say is that this is a hot mess. <laughs> I need to really clean this out, really reorganize the products, and I need to clean each drawer too so like i'm gonna empty basically empty this out show you what i'm taking out and then before i put everything back in i'm gonna just clean this <laughs> it needs a good clean so that being said we're gonna go over some new products that i've picked up we're gonna talk about some products well we're gonna you're gonna see what i finished since last month i don't want to talk about them too much because i want to save that for an empties video but yeah so let's go ahead and just jump into what i'm first taking out which is actually bloop 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 up here <laughs> So if you didn't know, uh, I've got this acrylic organizer, and then up here is another acrylic organizer. Um, this is just where I have some setting sprays, and this is a primer that I'm trying to use, but it's so big it doesn't fit in any of my drawers, and I keep forgetting I have it. So that's just going to stay there until I actually use it. But the first drawer I want to empty out is this one, because I already finished my black lipstick video. If you guys missed it, I'll throw it up in the cards. But I want to go ahead and just put this back into my lipstick collection and open up this drawer for other things. So all of these will be taken out. Again, if you want to see my thoughts on all of the black lipsticks and how I rank them, check out that lit that video. All right, and now that is empty except for a couple of random uh, stains that I'm going to be cleaning out and some, uh, what are these, command strips? This next drawer has a bunch of other stuff I was testing out. I'm going to move these two back. These are the, okay, show these on camera. These are the heavy metal liners from Urban Decay. I don't really need them right now, so those are going to go. I also have both of these Wet n Wild uh, quads from the Rebel Rose collection, and I'm going to keep these off to the side. What I like to do... What I like to do is keep products over here, like by my towel, that I'm saving just to review. So like the Kylie and the ColourPop palette, once I tested them out and they were ready, I just had them over here waiting for the video. So that's where these are going to go because I've tested this out along with a bunch of other color, not ColourPop, <laughs> a bunch of other Wet n Wild palettes. So I'm going to be doing a Wet n Wild palette review roundup. So that's where these are going to go next. And then I think I'm going to leave the cover girls in here because I'm still testing them out. And I do want to do a video comparing these to the Stila. So I think those are going to be the only things staying up here. Next, we have my primer drawer, which for some reason has a random little lipstick in it. <laughs> I'm taking these two primers out, putting them back in my primer drawer. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter and then the Makeup Primer Spray from Scandinavia. This little lipstick will also be returning to wherever it should be in my collection. So essentially what I'm keeping in my primer drawer, I have this AOA Studio Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer, and then I have basically the same putty-ish primer from e.l.f. and from Makeup Revolution. So those are the next primers I want to test out head-to-head. -head. This drawer is a hot mess. <laughs> All right, so these two products I've used enough. I think I'm going to move them out and into either a review section or the empty section. This is the ColourPop Liquid Liner in brown, and this is the ColourPop Mascara in black. I will also be moving out this ColourPop Mascara in brown. So this is everything we're keeping in the drawer. I've got a primer from AOA. I have the Wonder Brow from AOA, the Shop Miss A brand. I have this Juvia's Place concealer in here because I finished up the other eye primer I was using. And for the most part, when I find a concealer that doesn't work well under my eyes, I find that it can sometimes work well as an eye primer. So that's what I'm testing out with that there. I also have my NYX Control Freak uh, brow gel, and then I've got this mascara from Shop Miss A as well that I have not tested out yet. Oh, this, this is a mess. Alright, I'm just going to show you what I'm taking out as I take it out. <laughs> I'm taking out this stick foundation from Makeup Revolution. I'm also taking out this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Because quite honestly, I'm kind of sick of using it. It's It was my basically holy grail for the summer. It's the only one that'll stand up to sweat and heat and humidity. But now that it's cooled down, I can actually use other concealers. So I want to put this away. <laughs> I actually really, <clears throat> I actually really want to experiment with other foundations now that I don't have to worry about anything melting off my face. So these are just all going to be moved back into my makeup collection. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate, which is still new to me, but I actually really like it. Um, the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage and the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. 
I'm going to be moving this uh, salmon color corrector back into my collection from LA Girl because I do have one from Shot Miss A that I am currently testing out. So this Milani face powder is actually taking me forever to pan because it's a little too dark to use as a full face powder. So I'm using it as a really, really light bronzer, <laughs> but I'm kind of sick of it and I want to move it out and try something else. This is everything I'm leaving in the drawer for now. I've got a color corrector from Shop Miss A. I have this new concealer from, uh, is it Maybelline? Yeah, the Maybelline Superstay Concealer is blowing my mind. Honestly, it's incredible. I have my white mixer from LA Girl, and then I also have these serum foundations. I have one from Shop Miss A, the AOA Studio, and then I pulled out one from The Ordinary because it was very similar texture and coverage and feeling, so I really wanted to compare those two. And again, this drawer does need to be cleaned. Everything will be cleaned because this is, it needs it. And look, it's another hot garbage fire drawer. <laughs> ah, Jesus. My bread thing is going to get washed today. Yay. <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying using these two face powders together. This is the J-Cat Aqua Assurance Foundation, which I did hit pan on. Yes, it is a powder foundation that I hit pan on. And then I still have this MAC Next to Nothing powder. Um, so I'm going to use both of these, but I'm going to move them into this drawer. I think it just fits better. Along with this other concealer that got stuck in this drawer for some reason. <laughs> this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. And to be honest, I used it once or twice and then kind of forgot about it. So I'm going to put it into this drawer so I can actually test it. These two products I'm going to move back into my collection. This is a Brontour kind of shade thing from Burberry. And this is the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I was actually using this as a primer for my nose back when I was sick. <laughs> and it actually worked pretty well, but I'm not really using it. I'm not using it as an eye primer or anything. So I'm going to put it back into my collection. This lash glue actually dried out on me. This is the House of Lashes, so this is going to be an empty. I've been using this Maybelline Fit Me powder ever since I ran out of the Shop Miss A powder, and it is almost empty, and so I'm going to try and finish this one up. This is in the shade 10. This is actually a powder I've had really mixed feelings on, um, so I want to just put this away and then come back to it at a later date to really test it. This is the Juvia's Place Loose Powder, and I have the shade White Sands. There's literally powder in this entire drawer. This, this, oof, needs a good bath. I have two of the same highlight from Shop Miss A that I really want to test out. Um, I do have two of them because the first one came totally shattered, so I did repress this. Yeah, can I open it? Yeah, so this one came totally shower shattered, <laughs> so I repressed it, and then they were able to send me another one that came perfectly fine. So I do want to compare these side by side to see if repressing messes with the formula in any way, and if you could still use it. So keeping both of these in here. I also have these two blushes from Shop Miss A. I'm going to move the peachy one back into my collection because I'm kind of sick of peachy blushes, if I'm being perfectly honest. I'm going to keep this like mauve blush in. This is in the shade Mod. I recently finished up one of my favorite ColourPop Super Sock shadows. It's actually like right here, but it's basically an empty. Um, That was in Sailor, and this one is in Frog, and it's almost the same shade. I think they discontinued Sailor. Can we focus? I think they discontinued Sailor and now there's only Frog, but I brought Frog out to use and I still love it. Um, and then this Sailor shade that is falling apart and is essentially an empty is going to be an empty. So this is everything left in the drawer for now. Whew, all right, miscellaneous drawer, let's go. All right, all these Wet n Wild palettes I've been testing for the month and I've gathered my thoughts on them and they're going to be my next review roundup series along with the two quads and Rebel Rose. All of these palettes are going to be reviewed in one of my next videos, so I'm going to keep them over to the side there so I know to do the video and then add them back to my collection when I'm done. These two single shadows are going to be moved back into my collection. They are both from Geek Chic Cosmetics. This one's a Cowboy Bebop one and this one is a Hannibal Lecter one. I really want to keep Rebel Rose in here for the entirety of the fall season because it's like my favorite fall lipstick ever, so I'm going to keep it in here. This palette was over on the side right over here because I just got it. This is from Shop Miss A and I really want to test it out, so that's going to go into this drawer along with these two palettes. So this is the Sugar Pill Mini Palette that came out a little bit ago. I bought it and then it sat in the box for like three weeks and I forgot I had it. So this is going to stay in here so I can actually test it out. And then this is another product I just got. Look how pretty that is. 
Oh my god, that is gorgeous. This is from Divina Cosmetics, and this is the Moon Well Bundle, which was the collab with Angelica Nyquist. And I've only used the shades like once or twice, so I do need to fully test this out. So that is everything in this drawer. And then down here, I don't think I really need to close or clean anything out because everything down here is from my um, Project Pans, with the exception of this blush from e.l.f. I can put this back into my collection. Everything else is from a Project Pan, and I think that's everything. So I'm going to go put the rest of these products back where they should be, and I'm going to clean this whole thing out. And then we'll be back to shop my stash and pick out some new products. All right, so I just spent the last 20 minutes cleaning out the entirety of my everyday makeup basket. It is sparkling except for a few spots where apparently makeup stained. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting a new acrylic container for my everyday makeup basket, maybe one a little bit bigger, but that's neither here nor there. I really want to pick out, let's see, I want to do maybe some glitters and I want to pick out a couple of lashes. I think I'm fine with primer because I've got primers I'm testing. And I also think I'm okay with um, concealers since I've got the new one I'm testing. Maybe, uh, you know, let's pick out one more. Let's pick out a concealer. I really want to bring back in this Kylie concealer because I remember loving this to absolute death and I want to see if I still love it. So I'll, I'll bring, move that in. So that's that for that. What is over here? I've got a miscellaneous lip drawer. Let's see. Maybe I should bring in a lip scrub. I like never use lip scrubs. You know what? Let's try it. I might put it in my, um, like downstairs with my skincare. That actually might work a lot better than up here because I feel like that'd be something. So I'll do that. Alrighty. Let's look at an eyeliner. I want some eyeliner. Hmm. What are we gonna do? Here, let's move this. Alright, let's, I want to get some eyeliner. Do, do, do. I don't know even what, well, like, I don't even know what I'm feeling. But, what about this MAC one? This is a nice brown liner from MAC. I'll bring that. Hmm. Should I do a black pencil liner? Yeah, let's go for something smoky, something. Let's use this Lancome one. In. We'll use this Lancome Drama Liquip, Liquip Pencil. Huh. It's a bit different. We'll use that one. Alright, back to our regularly scheduled programming. I actually really need to go through these glitters and make sure none of them are dried out because I found one of these Stila's was dried out and it made me really sad. So I really need to go in and test these, so I don't know if I want to pull any right now, just because I really don't know what's dry and what's not. And I do already have um, a brow product, so I don't think I get anything from here. Alright, here we go, lashes. I want to move these in. So these are accents, and I think these would work really well on my eye shape. So I'm definitely going to probably open these up and put them into the drawer, but I want to test those out and see if I like them better than kind of the more like glam kind of hardcore lashes so those definitely I want to try okay and I don't think I need anything down here that's lipsticks uh yeah I think we're good so we're gonna jump into my foundation drawer next because I want to pick out some ones that I haven't been reaching for in some time hello and welcome to the messy foundation drawer <laughs> so I did put away the makeup I already picked out so let's see. I really want to pick this one back out. This is from e.l.f. and this is the Acne Fighting Foundation. So I want to pull this out to try it again. Let's see. Ooh. Let's just make a mess. What else do I want to pull out? You know what? This one's almost empty. I should finish this one up finally. This is from NARS and this is the Radiant natural radiant longwear foundation and it is basically just about empty so i'll probably just like store this upside down next to my everyday makeup basket to let it all sink down there and then use it that up i think that's good for now because those are both foundations i haven't reached for in a bit i need to reorganize this and do a little bit of work but i also moved my makeup wipes down here got my color switch and my q-tips just because this is within arm's reach of my vanity so it's a little bit easier to get to 
Alrighty, down here we've got blushes, face powders, more lashes, loose powders. Hmm, I want to pull out a different blush. Just one I haven't reached for in a bit. Let's do this one. I'm going to pull out the California blush. It's a bit different, more. it's a more glowy brush, one I haven't reached for in a bit. So we're going to move that one in. Hmm, and do I want to do a bronzer and a contour? I felt, honestly, I gotta admit, I've been feeling really bored with my 9 Pan 19 because I've been reaching for the same bronzer and the same contour literally every day for almost a year. So I think instead of going for an individual one in the next drawer, I'm gonna go for a face palette because I've, I've been feeling just a bit bored. And I'm good with um, face powders and with loose powder, so I think that is it for here. Alright, so here we are with highlighters and with face palettes. I really want to pull a face palette out. Maybe a highlighter? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I want to pull this highlighter out. It's been a while since I've used it. This is from Fenty, and this is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighting Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I completely panned the uh, Lightning Dust side, so I just have Fire Crystal left. So I'm going to bring this in and see if I can get some use out of that, and a face palette. Let's pick a face palette. Okay, so I want to go with this. This is the ABH Contour Kit in Light to Medium, just to get some use out of it and see if I can really test this out. I picked this up from a like TJ Maxx or a Marshalls, and it was less than $20, so I think it was a good deal. But I rarely reach for it, so I want to bring this in. All the pans in here are also like removable, which is kind of really cool. So I might keep it in here. I might move it into like a Z palette. We'll see. All right. So down here, I now have like lip products. I'm I'm reorganizing everything still, so I really don't know. 100% what's really gonna go down here, but I've got my like little sample products. I got lipsticks. So I think we're going to leave that alone. And I still have plenty of new eyeshadow palettes to test out, so we're not going to go into the eyeshadow palettes yet. So I do want to show you the new way I am organizing most of my palettes. So I'm going to have to pan down a little bit so you can see everything, but this is my bookshelf. I've got like some makeup um, brushes. I've got this beautiful bouquet that my boyfriend got me <laughs> for uh, Halloween. And if you come down, I've turned my bookshelf into basically a palette shelf instead. I've got a lot of my big palettes. I've got like all my ABH palettes like right over here. I've got like Too Faced and Kylie over here. But I just, I really like how this looks. It's, it's more displayed. It's really making everything more visible. So this is kind of how I'm um, organizing most of my palettes. All of my small palettes are still in that very bottom drawer in my Alex 5 drawer, but I, ju I just love how this looks. Isn't it cute? All right, and here we finally are. Everything is beautifully clean and scrubbed. I did notice that there are a few spots that like stained on the acrylic, like over here, and there's some scratches and stuff, but oh, it just feels so good to do like a deep clean, right? <laughs> so I have my Metropolis palette over here, which is my new Natasha Denona palette. I haven't rearranged it yet, but I'm really excited to keep working and playing with this. So this is gonna stay over there. I also have the NARS foundation I picked out upside down right there so that everything can kind of come to the bottom. Everything down here is from my project pans. Here is the miscellaneous drawer. I have basically everything the same except for the lashes and I also added in the Layla 2 palette that I still haven't fully tested out yet. Next, I have basically my face drawer where I added in the Fenty highlight, the California blush, and then the ABH uh, contour palette on the bottom. Here is my foundation. And, oh, oh, it ran away. So here is my foundation and concealer and powder drawer. Nice and uh, organized. I caught the runaway concealer. How dare you? Here's the primer drawer and not much different here. And the eye drawer, which I just realized, why did I put the Kylie in here when the concealer should be in here? Oof. So this is the eye drawer of the other uh, liners we picked out and our eye primers and mascaras. Up 
up here. I still have these two drawers basically empty. I don't want to rush to fill them up, so we'll just see what I can put in them, you know, moving forward. And that's everything. So thank you guys so much for uh, doing my Shop My Stash with me for November. Let me know down below if there's any other new products you've picked up, any specific videos you want to see, especially with Metropolis. I don't know exactly what I want to do. I already did a video with the mini gold palette that's actually going to be coming up sometime soon. I did a spotlight on petite palettes with it, but I'm not quite sure what I want to do with Metropolis. So let me know you guys' thoughts down below, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.